Hello YouTube, so on today's video, I'm here working on the journey. I'm going to be replacing those reflectors with some functioning lights. So stay tuned guys, and here we go. Dodge Journey. Um, I'm gonna be replacing those lights. I'm also gonna be replacing these lights with LEDs. Um, most of the lights from the interior already have LEDs. I did change the plates with LEDs. You know how much I like LEDs. I'm also gonna be replacing the reverse lights with some LEDs. So let's get this uh, video going guys and here we go. Alright so it's not a really difficult um, thing to do. All you have to do is pull these two tabs on each side of course and then you just pull them out and on the reverse light is gonna be right here and it has two bolts right here in the inside and you just pull it out um, I am gonna show you guys how I'm gonna wire it I am not gonna wire it with the turn signal I'm gonna be wiring it with the running light and the brake light so I already removed these uh, two little plastic tabs like I said, all you have to do is just pull it out. There you go. Like I said, I'm going to splice into these wires. I'm going to tap to these wires right here. And there's going to be the wires over here. And this is going to be your actual turn signal. All right, so I'm going to be checking out the which was the running light. So as you can see, it's only a reflector. I'm going to be changing out with these. So this application might work on the Grand Cherokee, the Compass, and the Patriot. You guys might not want to do some research before you actually start buying all this uh, stuff. So I'm using these. These are the LEDs. These are super cheap. I really regret buying these. Um, but I already have them, so I'm going to install these. I'm going to put a link on them, but like I said, I wouldn't recommend them. I probably would have bought a, some better ones. And also the wires. These fit all right. I am going to put some tape here at the end. Some electrical tape, just in case. And I'm using these. I always use these uh, quick splice connectors. These are awesome because you don't have to worry about it them coming off because they actually lock up right here in the in the top. And I'm putting some heat shrink. Alright, so I discovered the middle one is the ground. Um, the white with the gray silver line is gonna be your running light, and the white solid white is gonna be your your brake light and over here is gonna be the red with the blue light that's gonna be your running light your ground is gonna be the green and your brake is gonna be the white with the black light or black line all right I'm gonna go ahead and test it before I actually put back the little uh, plastic clips So there you go, that's going to be one side. I do want to remind you guys that the plastic actually goes on top of the metal. I, I was actually putting it uh, under and I broke it. That really sucks, man. That really sucks. Alright, I got some bad news. The reverse lights I bought for the journey didn't fit. Um, like I said, I removed these two bolts in case you do want to do it. I'll try to research on what lights 
it does uh, require and I'll put it in the description but I have you guys got to be careful again I actually cracked the lens right here and and some of the paint so just be careful with these I don't think I'm just gonna leave it as as I'll just wait till the the bulb pops or whatever and then I'll change it to LED but everything's brittle because of the heat here in South Texas so that really sucked in case you guys were wondering what wire gauge I was using is gonna be actually 16 gauge I'm um, like I said because it does go outside the vehicle so again I don't want it to uh, melt or anything like that I did um, put some some I, I uh, wrapped it up with some some electrical tape and I also all right so this is gonna be their passenger so your brake light is gonna be the white one with the green line and your running light is gonna be the white one with the orange line and over here the white with the red line is gonna be your brake light and the red with the blue line is gonna be your running light and the green with the yellow light is gonna be your ground and these you just fish down at the bottom fish your wires down in here and you can see there's light you can see it's my hand right here and again guys how you put these on and just they have two little clips over here one right here and the other one right here and you just put some pressure on it and to take it off it's opposite you just push it out of course um, the muffler the exhaust is right here so watch out with that make sure your wires aren't like touching that or anything that moves so make sure of that you don't want to pinch any wires or anything like that all right guys so I did uh, pop the light the, the flasher the signal light it did actually pop like like I say on my uh, videos, I'm not a certified mechanic or technician. So everything I do is on my own risk. Disclaimer. So these are going to be the replacements. They're going to be the W. The W. Y21W. That's going to be your part number for the signal lights. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a little test. Uh test run before I actually put the plastic clips on so these are actually LEDs Alright guys, so there you go. Hopefully you find this video useful. Like always guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Also guys, don't forget about the merch. I have plenty of merch for you guys. If you're interested, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. I'll put a link below uh, as well. I'm going to put all the parts I used below. So again, thank you guys.
Thank <laughs> you.